Hi guys, Marco here, back once again from MyColorScreen.com, bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Today I'll be featuring the screen of the day called City, produced by over here. And if you want something that's a little bit more different than the average launcher, to provide you stuff that you've never ever seen before, like if you tap your applications, boom, look at that, look at that. Awesome screen right here. Now SS Launcher is a bit complicated, and that's why I provided this tutorial. So if you want to make your home screen funky fresh with something that's never been seen before, follow this tutorial now. I'll provide links on the side here so that you can jump to whichever part of the tutorial you want to watch. Let us begin. Okay, starting from your stock launcher right here, we're going to up, open up SS Launcher. Now this, is, this launcher is a bit complicated to use, so I'm going to run by a few things that you might need to know. Okay, first thing you want to do is get familiarized with this little button here that will bring up your pages, your wallpaper, your theme, your preferences, etc. First thing you want to do is open up your pages and you want to choose your current background. From here, as you can see, I've already added something. What's nice about the SS is that you can, you can open up favorite wallpapers that you can add right here. So if you just have to go add an image and choose your wallpaper, it'll appear over here. So now when you tap that, it'll set your wallpaper as the one you have selected. Once you have that, we have to configure a few more options. So we're going to preferences. We want to hide the dock bar. We want to hide, we want, we're on full screen. Then if we go back and we open up our pages again, we'll go to label fonts and style. Now what you want to do here is say hide labels and then click apply changes. Always click apply for everything you do in SS. Otherwise it'll be like, no. All right. Once you have those up, we're going to be starting adding in our widgets. Great. Now for our widgets, SS launcher takes things a whole step further with customizing your widgets you can literally move it anywhere you want to place your widget so for our applications what we can do is hold down and we'll say a shortcut and for the shortcut type choose page because SS works with pages and for your target you'll select applications boom you want it clickable so for the the look we'll go style and you want to choose that one that just has an icon so we'll go background and the background color it's kind of that funky orange so we'll just change it to a transparent white like that background image we can say it as our blank png it doesn't really matter so we'll just click apply but now it's our icon that makes the difference we'll go icon settings and see we can also choose our different types of icons so if we choose our blank png you can see it goes blank so we click apply always click apply and we'll click apply again and there's your fancy thing look how look how amazing that is to resize it's the most amazingly resizable launcher we have at the moment so there we have it there's our tapping that will open up your applications page and for the clock here that is our minimalist text that I just snuck in and we went predefined layout, custom layouts, and all we did there was add in the clock. And for our text style, we made it black and changed the font to the font provided in the in the description below. Change the size to 40, and it's a one by one minimalist text size widget. So we just click OK. And of course, as always, look how easy that is to resize. It is amazing. And there we have it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel as it'll be daily. That's right, daily tutorials for home screens as well as widgets. Thank you very much, guys.